Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with truth, bringing dark into light. This is a time must read. When you guys with this truth, 30 confirmation messages you're looking for. You may be also guys in my channel. My phone missions, weakness, up to yourself, better conscious, up to the ID. Please take what resonates and leave it as not fit for somebody else. Click to read and offer free. Click to read and offer free. Thank you to everyone. Like, and share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you. And not be where I'm at. Not for you guys and for the most high. Thank you. Okay, somebody has a lot of anxiety, stress. Okay, they can't sleep at night. They've been up. Okay. I'm hearing if you've been up, unable to sleep, meditation will be great before sleeping or reading a book, okay? Calming the mind before bed. Calming the mind before bed, okay? Don't watch TV. Don't be on screen time half hour to 45 minutes before bed. Um, this will help. But this is also somebody I'm hearing is trying to um, attack you in your dream state, okay? You're being attacked in your dream state, so spirit may be guiding you to wake up, okay? There's a reason why you may get up. The spirit is help protecting you, waking you up as well, okay? Because when we go into the dream state, we battle. We're warriors, okay? We fight, okay? We're the light, light forces that fight the dark forces in our dream state, in our astral body, okay? So this could be why if you're being woken up in the middle of the night, it's to protect you, okay? It's to protect you from harm. There's a fight. Look at it. the two swords, okay? Two of swords is, you know, stalemate. It's also being blinded, blindfolded. You may feel like you're in the dark as well when you're in the in, in the um, astral realm, okay? In your astral body. Someone's trying to keep you afraid of something as well. Someone could be tor being tortured, spiritually tortured as well, mentally tortured. Because when you look at this, this girl's tied up in her arms and her her um, thing. Um, somebody could be spiritually tortured, okay? Mentally tortured. Or physically tortured. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, some of you being tortured. Okay, that's why they can't sleep. A manipulator. There is a king of swords that could be manipulating a situation, okay? Cold-hearted. King of swords. Cold-hearted. Treating somebody rude, mean, cruel. Okay? Hurting somebody. Somebody could be afraid to fall asleep as well. Because this king of swords. I'm being set energy. Okay, set. Zeus. Zeus was a manipulator as well, you guys. Zeus was a manipulator. People think Zeus was a good guy, but he was a manipulator. I'm getting Aries. God of War. Moon, Diana, goddess of Diana, okay? Moon, something's being hidden, keeping something from you. This king of swords could be keeping you from something. Not wanting you to see something. Causing you to cry at night. Causing you sadness. Depression. There's a king of pentacles that's trying to help. There's a provider that wants to help. Or you could be a king of pentacles, energy, provider. Judgment. There's a king of swords under judgment. This king of pentacles, can we see what this king of swords has been doing to you? So there could be somebody that's been doing something to you behind the scenes, okay? Torturing you mentally, spiritually, physically. And there could be a king of pentacles, another person that's seen this. God seen this. You're a loving person. Princess of the Cups. You're you're loving. Terra beginnings. You want a new beginning? So you may want a new beginning with like a King of Pentacles. Okay. In the past, this King of Swords could have tortured you, hurt you, um, kept you not able to sleep. Okay. Um, could be trying to come into your uh, like a, into your dream state, okay, manipulating things, okay, trying to bring you back. But you want this you may want this beginning with this King of Pentacles, a provider, a loving Loving man.
Eight of Pentacles. She's painting here. She's painting her dreams. She's painting what she wants. Getting back into something that she loves. That a can of squirts could have took from her. Could be a service to others. Helpful. Details. Or I'm also hearing you, there. there's somebody that's been um, not able to sleep that's kind of confused because it's confusion too. She may have to choose between two people. Okay. Someone that's a provider and somebody that could be a little bit manipulative, but also authority, like standing in the power. Okay. So there could be, yeah, there's a, there's a God that's a female, divine feminine or someone that has to choose between two people. Okay. Choose between two people. Or like I said, had a relationship with somebody from your past that was cold hearted, that was manipulator and is going towards this king of pentacles, this provider wanting something with somebody seeing something. This guy is this queen of the, this divine female empress. She's resourceful, okay? But she's also a service to others. Someone's keeping her away from that temptation. There could be a divine feminine uh, empress that. Cares about one king differently than another king okay her feelings for a, this king could be different than this this king this king of swords and king of pentacles one is it very is it tempting could have a sexual connection and other one has a soul connection she doesn't know what to do she's having a tough time deciding what to do She's in love with, there's somebody in love with two people. Okay, she'd be in love with two people. And they're two opposites. Okay. There's a female that's in love with two people and the, the, the two kings, they're opposites. They're different. They're not the same. Okay, I'm kind of getting the energy. If you've ever watched Vampire Diaries, I watched that back like 13 years ago when it came out of um, Elena loving Stefan and then she loved Damon the brothers but they're two opposites and she was a caring loving individual and that's when I'm getting this this kind of vibe this kind of energy coming out it's actually like this I want to grab something different with these ones. One is going to be the, okay. There's no wrong answer to this, but the one is... She chooses the one. If she chooses the one that's more tempting, more um, on the darker side, bad boy image, that doesn't want to... One may not want to commit. This King of Swords may not want to be co commit and may have like a dark side, could be co like cold-hearted. <clears throat> okay? Doesn't want to commit fully. Um, by her choosing that, it's not going to be a wrong decision, but she's... I'm hearing she possibly could regret it in the, in the future, okay? She's going to regret one in the future, okay? Um, one of the choices that she chooses. But I'm also hearing she doesn't want to give up on both of them. Someone wants to um, eat their cake and eat it, or the whatever, however you say it, the setting, saying. She wants, there's like, there's a female that possibly wants two, two masculines, okay? But doesn't want it in like a polygamous relationship, doesn't want like a threesome. She just wants, she wants to have a relationship, there's somebody that may want a relationship with just the King of Swords, and then just King of Pentacles. Like, in ways like what I'm hearing too is, she wants to take both of these kings and put them into one. But she can't. That's not how life goes. Ace of Cups, feelings, romantic, endless lover. But that's not how that's not how it's gonna go. She's gonna have to choose. She's gonna have to make a decision on what, what one to be with. 
what one to be with. At pros, cons. What's what what relationship's gonna be a long run? That's gonna last forever. That's gonna be able to build a future with. If both of you she's able to build a future with, it, it, I'm hearing it. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard decision. But one could be more possessive, controlling, clingy. Maybe she wants more one with more freedom. Four Pentacles. Where they have more freedom and she can do what she wants to do. Because one's going to be more clingy, controlling, possessive. Like, is going to be up in her business. And the other one is more freedom. Giving her the freedom that she wants. Allowing her to be who she wants to be. One's going to be more caring, loving, providing. Another one's going to be cold-hearted and, like, tell her the truth, speak the truth. Okay, or again, like I said, that it could be where there's... She she had this manipulative relationship before and she's moving towards this King of Pentacles, which is a provider, loving. So, you, you know what I mean? There's... You can read this differently. Discovering. Discovering what she really wants. She, he wants. And you go, again, again, this could be a him having in love with two women. Okay, so roles can switch. He can be in love with two women as well. Okay, you can switch. Yeah, she's uncertain. Moon, okay, so the moon is too uncertainty. Okay, not knowing. Okay, intense emotions. The way she feels about one one masculine is different than what she always feels about the other masculine. The way he feels about the feminine is different than what he feels about the fem other feminine. So he's he's going to he's gonna have to make a decision. You can't have both. not going to work. You can't have both. It's not going to work. These masculines are not gay. These feminines are not gay or, you know, lesbian. Okay? They're straight. If they don't want a polygamy. And they, they don't... No, I'm hearing all three of them don't even want a polygamous relationship, okay? that That's not how it is. Okay? So, if, if you're thinking, oh, polygamy... No, no, no. That's not... That's not it. It's just she or he fell in love with two men or he fell in love with two women. And now he's confused, not knowing what to do. One is non-committal, okay? Maybe she's not non-committal, okay? She feels like she wants it, but she doesn't know she totally wants it, okay? This is the devil, okay? Going to source creator God will help her, okay? Asking God to help her, show her, show her the right path, what right decision, asking for help from above. Okay, because the devil's coming out and there's this, this, some of this is because of lust, obsession. There's control issues again, too. She's going to have to, like, that's the thing. She's going to make a decision. Does she want to grow old together? Seven of Pentacles growing old together. Or does she want just a fling? A few months, a few weeks. Or he... So it's ultimately up to the person, if it's you, you're the person you fell in love with, you fell in love with two men. Or if you're a man, you fell in love with two women. Do you want a long-term relationship or do you want a short-term relationship? Do you want a relationship that is where you're at, you have all your freedom? Or do you want a relationship where you are doing things with the other person? You know, it, it's going to be ultimately up to you. You can go to tarot, you can go to tarot and get guidance and stuff. But right here, this is just going to kind of give you a confirmation of what you've been feeling. And that's what I'm hearing is somebody is really confused about having two partners or two people that they're in love with. The reason there's confusion because there's something to do with the devil still, okay? Something holding on to the past, something holding on to lower frequency of lower vibration. That's why you may be having a tough time figuring out which one it is, okay? Which one is actually more suited for you. Because I am getting one, unless they're both, they both could be, you know, healing, growing, good men. And that's why it's a really hard decision. But still, you're going to make the decision of who you want to be with because they don't, they don't want, they don't want to share. Okay, they don't want to share. They don't want to polygamous. They don't want to share. So if they both want you and you want them, you're going to have to make a decision. One may be more un unattached, unavailable. Okay, so one may be unavailable. Intellectual. Letting go. You're going to have to let go of one person. I, if, like, if I was in a situation, I would write pros, cons to each relationship. And then I write down what you truly want in a relationship. 
what you're looking for the long haul. If you're looking for a soul connection, if you're looking for um, sexual desires, like I, that's the thing you're going to want to write down with journals. That's what's going to help you with this as well. Because you're going to have to walk away from one, one of them. Okay? You're going to have to walk away from one of them. You're going to have to let go of one of them. So you can come together with a, a, a partner. You may have to let, okay, wow, you may be letting go too. Maybe there's a third one. There could possibly be a third one as well. That's why you're really freaking confused. One could have been a king of pentacles. One could be a king of swords, you know, th that you had a relationship. And then there's a third one. Or you have to let go of both of these. And then the, the, your true true love will come in. You, you'll come together with somebody. Putting somebody together. But you have to let go of these two love, these lost loves. These, these long loves that may not be for your higher good. You may decide to, you may choose to let go of both of them. So you can have a new love. Because here it's coming out is you want a commitment. Queen of Pentacles, which is a sexual commitment. commitment. Generous, you want a commitment. And you're looking for an emperor that's st stable. Stability. An older man. So we may be looking for an older man. One of these past relationships, one of these relationships, you could have more arguments with somebody. A feel bad of defending yourself. Not being who you truly are or want to be. You're looking for somebody with shared values. Eight of Pentacles, shared values. Living together with somebody. Happy home. Yeah, somebody has a really, really hard decision here. Really, really hard decision. Many, seven of Cups, many loves. Confirmation. Someone has a really, really hard decision here. To make. You're going to have to go within. You're going to have to go within. You're going to... You might, you might also have to, like, literally... Walk away from both partners and like go within, self-discover, love yourself and truly define yourself to see what you truly want and clear off this energy from it, from these, 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 these masculines. Okay. Or if you're a masculine and looking for a feminine, you may have to clear these energies out so you truly know what you want. You don't want secrets. Okay. You don't want secrets. Okay. That's coming out. You don't want someone keeping you from, or telling you secrets or Somebody that keeps secrets from you. Okay, so one of them may have secrets. They can't tell you things about them. Yeah, look, again, there's two scores again, conflict. You want somebody that's a long, lovely man. King of Cups, family man, devoted, lasting love to the King of Cups. So there's a three. King of Scores, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. This person could also be... This could be one person, too, and has just... It could be different energies as well. This is going to be really, really hard for for a feminine or a masculine to decide what they want, okay? Because you're in love with two, possibly three masculines or two masculines, and you may have to let go of both of them and going on to another one. You don't want to share, but you want to have both. Like that's why I say go watch the Vampire Diaries. Lena, she falls in love with, she's falling out of love with Stefan, but then she falls in love with Damon, and that's what I'm getting. And I'm literally hearing this is a real life situation. Okay, it's not, you know, I mean, like. It's not made up. This is somebody. Somebody's going through this. Somebody could have been married to a manipulator. Somebody could have been married to a king of swords. And they grew close with somebody else. But they still love this king of swords. But now they love this king of, king of pentacles as well. Or they were married to a king of pentacles. A provider. <clears throat> met this king of swords. And now they're growing close with this king of swords. Something about this king of swords like... Draws them in. The bad boy image. The the little bit cold hearted. But like. <clears throat> authority figure. And like. <coughs> hey my throat chocolate face. Wow. You may not want to admit this either. You may not want to admit it. Like somebody doesn't want to admit it. But it's causing. It's causing you not to sleep. It's causing you stress. It's causing you to. Be confused. The confusion, confusion comes from the devil. Okay, the devil will confuse you. God will not confuse you. Okay, yes, you may have questions for the God, but God's not going to um, confuse you. Okay, God's going to try to give you a straight answer. So the devil comes out here. It, it's causing a confusion. So that's why you need to clear up this energy. You need to let go of something because you could be the controlling one and um, a possessive one as well. Drifting away from your partner and then falling, him falling for someone else. So you could be drifting away from a partner too and falling for someone else. 
and you're trying to get this person back. Someone you had a past history with, or you felt like you were connected with them in the past. There's a situation going on here, you know, complicated situation. Someone could be gossiping about this, talking about this. You in love with two people, or your person's in love with you, or two people. Okay, gossip, petty, jealous, envy, but I'm just hearing gossiping, talking about this. You're looking for happiness. You want happiness with someone. You want happiness with... You may get happiness with one of them. And the other one, you get this adrenaline rush. This roller coaster ride. Highest and... The highest highs, adrenaline rush, okay? Ups and downs. Okay? But then, like, it's it's really good for one moment. And it's really, really down. But another one, you're just really happy. Bubbly. You guys, polygamous relationships don't usually work out. They don't usually work out. It's a, it's a mess. Okay, drastic, extreme, harsh, cut off. Someone may be getting cut off. Someone, you may cut this person off fast. Cut off. There's a fast, fancy car here too, a sports car. Someone may gave you an ultimatum too, or you gave somebody that because it says TikTok. Okay, deadline, time's running out. Okay, you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to choose. On the table, offer, proposal, commitment. Somebody wants to give you a proposal or a commitment. Proposal. Somebody that's single. Ready to mingle, I'm hearing. One could be a karmic. Is a lesson. Third party lesson, okay? One could be a lesson. One is it could be a karmic relationship and you're just kind of confused by it right now. That's why you need to go within. Clear out the energy so you can know which one is karmic and what's not. What's divine and what's not. Okay? You Like I said, denial. Not facing truth, irrational reasoning. This could have started out with an open relationship too. You may have just had an open relationship and then you fell for two people. One more. Something about proof, receipts, lipstick. You could have cheated. They could have cheated. There could have been some kind of infidelity here. Infidelity. It doesn't even have to be sexual infidelity. It could be like one doesn't know about the other. But there's some kind of proof. Show me show me something. Are you asking for proof of which one is supposed to be? You have to go with then. Okay, that's the thing. Going in readings, if you're going to love readings or tarot readers or whatever, or asking people, it, it's, it ultimately comes from within. What you truly, truly feel inside of you. I can give you guidance and other readers can give you guidance and you can go to love readings or you can do whatever. But ultimately it goes within. Like You have to go within and you have to decide yourself. You have to find it within yourself, but it's loving yourself first. Because the confusion comes from other people, from outsiders. God's not going to cause confusion in your life. Okay, God's not going to cause confusion in your life. The devil causes confusion. Okay, the devil causes confusion. But God does not. God, God shows you what you need to see, but you may not hear it. You may ignore it. The devil's one that's confusing on the situation. You need to tell them. If you're in love with both of them, you may need to tell them. Okay? Ghost of you. You're tired of fake love. You may need to let someone be. Let it be. This person from your past. Or this other one. You may have to let them be. You need to close it out. Endings. Somebody you need to close it out with. You need to tell them. That it's done, it's over. Or even both of them, so you can heal. And when the right the right time when it's the right time, God will bring that person back into your life.
right now, maybe working about family. Or maybe that's one that you choose. The one that wants to have a family, wants to settle down. Some of them have a shattered soul. Okay, one of them's going to have a shattered soul. You could have a shattered soul too, but one of them's going to have it. Or both may have it, okay? There's going to be a shattered soul over this situation. Guys, love can be a... a dangerous thing. Okay, love, lust. One may be, one relationship may be more lust, and you don't realize that. Okay, one may be more lust than real true love. You lust the other person. One, also this... If it's King's Words, could also be doing some kind of dark magic too, or like a love spell to keep you in love with them. That's why you spirit saying clear it out, you know, and they go within. Go within. You will find the answers you're looking for with you going within. Let's get some names on here. I'm just going to take 17. <clears throat> wow. That throat chakra actually helped. Put in a little bit more. You guys, that's my throat chakra. This is for truth, communication, boundaries. So maybe you need some throat chakra spray or to clear out your throat chakra to um, speak your truth, okay? To communicate properly with somebody. Okay, this has blue lapazuli in it too. Okay. Because there's something about speaking your truth. Virginia. Africa. Irene, Opal, Hobbit, there could be an uncle, alcohol, someone could be under influence alcohol, jungle, someone could be drinking alcohol, maybe you don't want to be somebody that drinks alcohol, jungle, Lucian, Desiree, Cherry, Tito, Nickelodeon, Denver Airport, or Denver, Houston Port, or Houston, Michelle Pfeiffer, Malin, Andrew, Rhode Island, Brandon, Joey, Dreezy, Janet, Roberts, Zach, Wyoming. One could be involved with street gangs. General, someone could be a general. Lindsay, Pine Island, some of the island. Public library, you can met this person public library. Maybe you just go to go sit at public library, some about public library. And Mexico City. I won't want to be you if uh, this this difficult situation. I do remember I had a similar situation like this in the past. I do remember. And it was hard. It was difficult. But when I was in, is when I got the answers I needed. Okay, it's with going within to get the answers you're looking for. Pulls us out. You're making a messy situation. Somebody's making it was me this is a messy situation being in love with two people. Okay, it's it's just gonna get messier if you don't choose. Okay, it's gonna get messier if you don't choose. Love cycles, attraction, understanding, and deep attachment. You may have a deep, 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 deep attachment to one one of them. Okay, even both. You need to let go. Something about maybe you felt abandoned in the past, and that's why you don't want to let go. You want to hold on to them. Maybe you didn't have a father figure or a mother figure, and that's why. Or people came out of your life, and that's why you're holding on to this. Okay, but it's it's love cycles. It, there, there could be like a love triangle as well. But this isn't supposed to be a polygamous or anything. This You know, it's, that's not supposed to be... Jaded, indifferences, fatigue, uninterested. Someone may be uninterested in you, okay? You may be in love with both of them, but maybe they, one, one of them doesn't want to commit to you, okay? But you're trying and trying. Um, Someone could be jaded too. I'm hearing your ego saying you love this one person and your soul's telling you love another. 
that's why you need to go within because your ego is telling you that it's this person and then your soul is telling you it's this person the ego likes to um protect okay the ego likes to perfection and stuff so that's why you need to go with them maybe have an ego death too this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek so you met the romantic partner partner you seek okay you have now you have to decide which one it is really go within Okay, there could be some like religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So that could be right there. Okay, maybe look at that too. One of, the, I, one of them is worth waiting for. Like they're waiting for you like to choose. Thank you, Spirit. Five, 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 five. Major change, encouragement, spiritual guidance. Okay, spiritual guidance. Seventeen. Identity. Seventeen cards. Divine truth, inner wisdom. Virgo. Leo, Capricorn, Cancer, and number seven. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, heal, namaste.